Hello fellow investors and influencers and welcome to our channel if you're watching our videos for the first time. I am Ora, the last black unicorn from CoinInfo News and I would like to take a closer look into crypto depository receipts or CDRS. As you may already know, the development of the blockchain is documented in an essay by Satoshi Nakamoto in October 2008 and it is built upon the work of others in the cryptography space including Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta in 1991 T. May in 1994, Nick Sabos, Bitgold in 1998, published in 2005, and Wade's B-Money in 1998, published in 2006. The first release of Bitcoin and the underlying blockchain standard of the Bitcoin website was in January 2009. Since then, there has been a rapid and widespread adoption of blockchain architecture among crypto and fintech startups. The issue though is far being the blockchain is a great idea looking for a purpose and CDRS are the killer app. The receipt is basically a signable financial instrument issued by a bank to represent a foreign company securities which are mainly traded publicly. The depositor receipt in the blockchain trades mainly on a stock exchange and the local format. Depositor receipts facilitate buying shares in foreign financial institutions and this is because the shares do not have to go away from the home country. Of course we have a problem here and that is that historically equity ownership has been recorded in a central share register which documents the owner's name, number and class of sharehold and even contact details. This share register is the official legal record of ownership and is used to determine voting rights, distributed dividends and notify shareholders of corporate actions. For example, share splits, new insurance, dividends, you know. Uh, this share register is in many ways analogous to a private blockchain. It is controlled centrally by the issuer and is the golden source of transactions in a given equity. Every transaction required an update to the register. The friction problem vary by stakeholder, but in almost all circumstances favor the middlemen and brokers. These problems are broken down by shareholders, including high transaction costs, slow settlement periods, costs of maintaining large back offices, administrative operation, paperwork associated with opening and maintaining a brokerage account, initiating, executing and setting a transactions, lack of privacy, administration costs of the stake register either directly or outsourced, and administrative costs of corporate actions. The status quo is entrenched by law and regulators nobly designed to protect investors, but which also perpetuate trade and inflexible barriers to entry grossly enriching middlemen and brokers in the expense of the real stakeholders, the company and its shareholders. Of course, we have a solution to this and this is like a blockchain is an immutable distribution ledger. Analogous to a globally distributed share register, the entries for which are validated and ratified through the majority consensus of participant registrants, eliminating the need for trust among participants. It provides a complete lifetime transaction history that can be viewed by anyone. In short, it is the evolution of the traditional stake register and transactions become the exchange of securitized tokens, and each representing a fixed proportion of ownership in equity insurance, aka CDR or crypto share. Crypto depository receipts or CDRS and native issuers open up a wide new world of finance, removing corporate actions, allowing fraction ownership and almost entirely eliminating transaction costs. Underlying shares are sourced from the market or corporate entities and CDRS then issued by the custodian trust on the blockchain which allowed voting with the use of smart contracts. Each CDR basically represents a single share and can be traded in fractions of a share, single or multiple shares. CDRS can be traded on an exchange or directly between two parties. Of course, you also have a token with the ticker CDRX. And it is ERC20 standard on the Ethereum blockchain. In conclusion, CDRS are the crypto equivalent of ADRS the precursor to widespread regulatory approval of native crypto shares insurance. A public blockchain 
recording each CDR or crypto share is the share register, acting as an immutable public record of ownership, the blockchain and embedded CDR crypto share smart contract combine to dramatically lower transactions and administrative costs, settlement times and eliminating the majority of corporate actions. Of course, voting and announcements will be handled with the help of smart contracts and transactional ownership democratized equity markets, which have previously been out of reach for many smaller would-be investors. Of course, I encourage you to perform your own research about this project and you can do so by viewing their website. Uh, their website is cdrx.io and uh, it looks like this. Over here you have a video and here you have another video. And of course, it is really important to view the white paper. You can do so from here or you can view the one pager, which is a summarized version of the white paper. And you can join the conversation from here. This is the website. I'm going to make it visible to you right now so you can see the address. Here you go. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. You can also join our Telegram channel and keep up with the latest news about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.